Your mic's muted. What's good with it? What's happening? How you doing, dude? Nothing much, man. How y'all doing? We're doing great. It's funny. It's funny, Wes. We we spent like an hour as a mod team being like, yo, what the f***? How did we, how did we book this? We were like panicking and freaking out. We were hitting you up on all your socials. <laughs> and you were like, we were like, I don't know what you're talking about. And then I was like, I know, I know. I figured it out. It was the personal page, but... Sir, if you please could, yeah. could you could you properly introduce yourself, let us know whereabouts in the world you are, and plug or promote anything you'd like. All right. Yeah, I'm Young Mosh. come from uh, Cincinnati, Ohio, 513. I do trap battle. And actually, my real name is Weston Merritt, but I go as Young Mosh right now. Mr. What, Merritt. When did you switch the, the, band, <laughs> the band name from the world I knew to Young Mosh, and why? Uh, I want to say it happened around 2020. Um, we uh, flew down to Texas to uh, record some songs, and the songs are uh, way totally different from what you know the, we played as the world I knew. And um, it's still the same lineup, got, though. Um, correct. I'm sorry. Is it still the same lineup? As lineup, what do you mean as lineup? Like the, it's still the same band members in the band. You just changed the name. Oh. Yes, sir. Okay. Yeah, same same band members. We just changed names. Uh, we wanted to um, we wanted to brand ourselves as a one single person so we could uh, go to different venues and play at different venues. So that's why the uh, name Young Mosh came up. We wanted to be different. And it sounds fucking badass. That's fucking why. That's why he did Hell it. Yeah. So everything's he still under it. the world I knew though, as far as like if you look up. Yeah, so if you look up, look up Young Mosh right now, it'll be under the world I know. But here shortly, hopefully in August, uh, early August or late August, early September, we should be having a uh, um, uh, single out. Will Spotify out. just change that or do you have to start a whole new page for that? Uh, I'm not sure. I'm pretty sure we have to start a new page for that. We're still going to so. keep the world I knew up. Let me add you to the list right here so we can tag you on everything later. Uh, I think Hype Nation was the first track I ever heard, and I was like, yo, we've got to talk to Wes. This is my boy Smokey. He's like, let's yeah, go. Yeah, let's do the same. Let's do the same. But let's play, let's play some music here so people know what you sound like, and uh, we'll do some more questions after that. Has metal music always been uh, like a, like a really heavy influence in your life, or did you grow up primarily listening to hip hop? So. How, how originally it happened is my dad uh, got me into rock music. And then once I uh, started going to church, I uh, went to this youth group, and that's how I started listening to metal, and metal has just, just changed my life. What there... bands do you remember from your dad the most? Sorry, BG. You're good. Like, what did your dad hit you um, with? What do you remember him listening to when you were like, fuck yeah? <laughs> Alice in Chains, Live, Ooh. Soundgarden. Yeah, you uh, said Live? Live? Yeah, like like Le Kinto's Juice live. Man, yeah, yeah. I, I haven't heard that in so long. Throwback. Yeah, man. Hell yeah. Pretty much all the uh, all old uh, rock for real, man. I love rock. Your dad was a wise man. <laughs> Hell, Hell yeah. yeah. Wes, tell me a terrible, a terrible gig story. You're playing a show and everything went <laughs> wrong at this show. Uh, this is Young Mosh. Nothing okay. goes wrong. <laughs> <laughs> oh no there's a lot that goes wrong so there was this so we played at this festival in, in um in michigan in kalakaska the fur the farthest north of michigan you could be in and it was a festival and the guy told us you guys can't cuss in between in, in between uh your songs I, i've been My here is, yeah man so literally literally we got on stage and not even like five fucking seconds I say, what the fuck is up, everybody? And then the guy, like, turns off the whole PA. He's like, hey, you do that one more time, I'm going to kick you off. I'm like, oh, my fuck. But he God. said between the song. So if you cuss in your lyrics, that's okay? You hadn't even started yeah, a song yet. This is, this is doing. before. I would have said, I know. You know, fuck the... you. Turn it off then. Have all these people get mad. Yeah, that is weird. Yeah, dude. I Yeah, that was just, I. <laughs> that was like a mind fuck to me. I was like, fuck me. Man. <laughs> Dang. 
Uh, what, when, yeah. when I imagine as the rebranding process is going on and let's say like tomorrow, Spotify does all the changes and stuff. When can we expect a release as young Mosh, like a new EP or something to come out? Uh, a single, I definitely, like I said, uh, in August, I say like early, I say mid August is where you could uh, see something of a single out. Cool. But trust and believe it's coming out real fast because we're getting everything set up and ready to roll. Any any friends from other bands as far as collabs involved in any any of the music that you guys are writing right now, or is that just something you can't talk uh, about? You can't talk about right now. No, you better. Talk I don't right think now, I can bro. talk about. You could say right yes, now, yeah. but not that tell us who it is. Blame it on the weed. Let's just say, let's just say, yes, we got, we got, uh, we got a feature on there. Hell yeah, let's a pretty go. Pretty fucking sick feature. Let's go. I Give wish I could say the name, yeah. but I can't. I'll probably get my ass candid. No, I, I understand. I understand. Let's jam Lifeline. This is nasty. This is nasty. nasty. In a, in a great way. In a great way. Yeah. God, some, something else to listen to other than just Dropout Kings, because this gives me the same what serotonin as Dropout Kings gives me. That that hypeness, oh, yeah. that hypeness. Yeah. Uh, Wes, Need I wanna, that. I want, I wanna try and stump you on some trivia. And while I'm looking up questions, I'm gonna, I'm gonna have Lloyd ask you some stuff. But what do you, what do you know the most about in either TV or film? Any TV show, any movie franchise? You've seen this a hundred times. Simpsons, Friday the Thirteenth, Dexter. Yeah, what is it? Literally, so literally anything. You. What do you know the most about? I'm gonna ask you trivia, and we're gonna try and stump you. Yeah, you better hope you okay. know more than me, bro. All right, but Let's go. What do you what do you say? You pick the topic. SpongeBob. SpongeBob heard. Shit. What happened? Before the pandemic? No, this is like during the like so oh. that day when we were filming, we were driving back listening to Dwayne's first like um press about the pandemic that everybody's got to stay home. So yeah, that day was pretty that day was pretty uh scary and wild. Man, pandemic kind of still going on still sucking still screwing yeah. stuff up um all right i'm gonna ask you an extremely hard spongebob question and if i stump you then i'll go a little bit easier one the second one but this is your first trivia if you get it right we're spinning the wheel and you could I win know a, it, you, i'm answering it you can't stop me i definitely don't think you know oh, SpongeBob. it's specific <laughs> this question is specific to an episode that's how hard it is okay. in the episode the secret box there is a string there is a string in the box i don't know if that makes any sense what item appears when you pull this string it's a stamp i guess with spongebob's christmas uh, spongebob's wearing a suit on a christmas party or something that is correct yeah, yeah. that is correct <laughs> well done it's not even a generic question. well done uh, I love SpongeBob. Lloyd, uh, go ahead and go ahead and ask him something. Hip hop artist wise, who is the artist that most lyrically? I'll spin it Who's again. the artist that most? Shut the fuck up! <laughs> <laughs> what hip hop artist most lyrically inspires you, and what is a lyric that like you always think about, like a, a set of bar, whatever? Ooh, that's. You ask him the deep thoughts while he's that's, stoned. Take them a minute. Yeah, that's that's kind of hard because, for one, I mean, uh, there's Kendrick Lamar. I was gonna. I was thinking. New Kendrick there. dropping soon. New Kendrick coming out. Yeah, and um, what's his name? J Cole. All right, but what's like a what's a what's like a line that you uh, think about from them? What line stands out to you out of your artists? Mm -hmm. You don't have to like perform it, but just like what's like a lyric that like impacted you. Uh, I honestly, I kind kind of fucked up right there. I'm not. That's gonna be a hard one. I have to get back with you on that one. I'm gonna ask Damn. you in a minute. <laughs> no, it's no worries. Oh, it's, it's a worry. You gotta think of something. All right, I spun it again. Uh, it said talk about the festival. Do we have a festival that we're throwing in Southern California, uh, August thirteenth? I'll talk more about it. Uh, I talk about it nonstop during the whole stream. So that's take a shot. The next one. Instead, let's take a shot. If you were oh, to to take a shot, Wes, would you prefer whiskey or Patron? Uh, whiskey. Hell yeah. Whiskey here, and I'm about to do a whiskey shot. This is peaceful. If you guys are feeling it, man, please support Wes, whether it's through the world I knew or through Young Mosh. Just show him some love. That'd be awesome.
Hell yeah. Dude, it's oh. beastly. Uh, chat has a question for you. We'll give it maybe like five more minutes right. and we'll let you go after that. Uh, any tour plans coming soon? And then two-part question. Most memorable local band that you've played a show with? <clears throat> okay, tour. Uh, so once we have our single out, we will announce a tour on that single. But again, we um, you should be hearing something here in August or July. July or August. Heard. It's in the works. And, and then you said favorite local band to play with? Yeah, like someone that you jam that maybe we don't know that we could play right now. Maybe someone man. that that like I, that blew you away, and you were like, "Man, how are we gonna? We're our shows lit, but how are we gonna follow that? Like somebody that you just were really impressed by." What if they're the most lit? Man, what if this is lot. alpha? This is these are the alphas, dude. <laughs> Who's more lit? There's a lot of there's a lot of great fucking talent out there, man. I'm not gonna lie. Um, damn. Man. I'll give you a second to think uh, about it. I'll give you a second to think about it. Uh, who does your who does your audio recordings? Our audio recordings? Yeah, who do you who do you go to to do all the production? Okay, so we um uh with the world I knew, we went to a guy named um god damn. His name is Brandon and I forgot his last name, but his name is Brandon. He's a guitarist for uh, Sink the Ship. Have you guys heard of Sink the Ship before? Of course. Yeah, that sounds really familiar. Uh yeah, so, so um Brandon, one of the guitars from Sink the Ship, he has done um, Peaceful, I do believe, and um, Hype Nation. And then, um, let's see, uh, the older ones, I, I guess, yeah. So pretty much Hype Nation and uh, Peaceful, that's what Brandon has done for us. Chat saying and, uh, that I don't we know should, if you guys uh... noticed, I don't know if you guys have saw, but uh, we hit a million streams on uh, Hype Nation. Let's, let's go. go. Oh, yeah. yeah. Unfortunately, unfortunately, we can't, unfortunately, we can't put that, post that on Young Mosh just because it's the world I knew, but I was going to post it on my page here soon. Yeah, just, I figure I'll let you guys know. You let everybody know. I think we should hit it. You're, I see it. Way back. Way back. See you later. Yeah. <laughs> That means we believe in you, dude, and we think and we think we think it's gonna work, and uh, you'll yeah, be you'll be all right. Lot. You're gonna be all right in the the music industry. Just keep just keep at it. Uh, Chat's saying that we that we should play so. Enox as a band that maybe you you could have you could have name dropped. I was just gonna say Enox, uh, Revenant, and pretty much everybody from the uh, local scene from Cincinnati. How was that tour? Hanging out with Enox on that tour. Enox tour was amazing. Any any like amazing, really man. funny wild story that you can you can throw to us? Yeah, throwing a football. Yeah, we, so we were just <laughs> all drunk. We got done playing the show. We we're all drunk throwing a football, and then all of a sudden, my bassist Jimmy decides to fucking kick the football on top of the fucking roof, and that was it. Everybody That's just good. laughed. Dang, but ruined, it was so funny when he ruined the party, dude. Yeah, so. That is not part. Jimmy, <laughs> Jimmy. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Let's jam Enox and we'll have like one or two more questions for you and then we'll let you go, dude. Hell yeah, Enox. What do you think, Lloyd? I'm blown away. I, I told it we haven't hit that button in so long, bro. Yeah. <laughs> Good stuff. Final final questions. Uh what's what's one last question you you'd like to ask, Lloyd? If you're about to play like the biggest show ever or just if you're just about to headline a show what are you doing to prepare yourself before you do that for your crowd uh smoke weed, <laughs> smoke weed. Smoke I, weed. Meant, <laughs> I meant i meant musically i meant musically as an artist what are you doing I, I, to warm up can't argue that i mean so oh, oh musically, uh just you know do do some vocal uh screams just coach myself you know, not pushing it, but just warming up my throat. No homo. I do all your gotcha. <laughs> <laughs> A little like Melissa Cross techniques and stuff. Oh yeah, definitely. My final question for you, sir. There you go. Yeah. Gotcha. Final question for you. I'll repeat. Is uh, what is a piece of advice that you were told uh, about your music career that completely changed everything, or? A terrible mistake you made early in your music career that you don't want any band to make. Mm. 
we fuck him up with these deep thinking questions, bro. I yeah. Well, I guess I, I guess you could say that if someone comes in your life and tells you, hey, change this, if it actually works, stay with it. But if you just want to be a douchebag and just be like, no, I want to do this way, and you, but you know it's not working, then that's on you. But like, seriously, there's there there really is people out there that's trying to help you to get where you want to be, and um, I and you know that comes with Young Mosh, you know, changing our name because somebody said that you know if you change your name, I'm pretty sure you guys can get into more venues or do more things. What was so his reasoning behind that? I mean, I, I get it, but did he have a specific reasoning of why the world I knew as a name hurt you versus Young Mosh? I'm just curious, like his exact wording. Because it's it's because it, people he says that you know when people are at festivals they're gonna be like whoa what was that what was the name of that band and he's gonna, he says nine times out of ten they're gonna get it wrong so you want a name that could be memorized instead of you know you There's have not- like the word the word alive you know then you have like the world I knew so you know you see how that can get like hit on burn like stars I get it yeah <laughs> easy just boom <laughs> makes sense. Wes, we appreciate you hanging out with us, dude. Uh, thank you so much, man. Enjoy the rest of your day. I got a question for you guys. What's up? What's your guys' favorite band? Of all time? All time. Your, like, your favorite go-to. Like I, I, like, I want these guys tattooed on me. Okay, so this is easy for me. It's tied between three bands, if that's okay. Okay, that's cool. Okay, Circa Survive uh, is the album I played yeah. the Circus Survives first album. Juturna is the album I've played more than any other album in my entire life. I am the Paul McCartney is my personal idol. I have Paul McCartney ink on, on my hand right here. This is all oh, you need yeah. is love, blah, blah, blah. So the Beatles for sure. And then Led Zeppelin would be my third. Those are my three oh, all time. All right. Okay. So the first two kind of, I mean, the second two kind of make sense. Circus, the kicker. I love post hardcore and metalcore and stuff like that. So, Fucking what's up, Chiodos? All the world's a stage will always impact me. Issues oh, yeah. with Tyler Carter, I listen to every day and practice to. And motherfucking Queen, hell, hell yeah, yeah. Freddie Mercury go. all day. Hell yeah, dude. Have you? I, I'm assuming you saw the movie. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, it was fantastic. I haven't. I haven't even seen the movie yet, to be honest. Oh, with get you. on I'm that. It, it, it does it justice. Yeah, you should watch it. You'll you'll see why it won awards. Like it's he he nailed it as far as spot on like being Freddy. I'll definitely check it out. Hell yeah. Thank you, dude. We look forward to uh the single dropping out in August and hopefully that tour announcement and the feature announcement and all that good stuff. But please don't be a stranger, sir. You're welcome back anytime. And uh, we'll keep playing your music and hopefully I mean not hopefully, but we know it's a matter of time. You're going to be everywhere, brother. So just make sure you hit New York and California on the way so we can catch the show. Hurry up and don't fucking yes, forget sir. us either. Yeah, thank don't you guys us. so much for having me on here. Thank you, Aww. man. Young Mosh! Give me a hell yeah! Hell yeah. Cheers, man. I like him. Hey, peace out, guys. Bye. Wubba, wubba, dub, dub.